Well, how's it going today, folks? I'm Rapper Don. Welcome back to the Brap Shack. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with this uh, Will It Start video. Um, if you're wondering why the frame's all zoomed in, I'm sick of fucking losing footage to that shitty camera, so we're back to the Kodak Play Sport. This is as far out as it zooms, so till the guy gets a new camera, this is what we got. At least it records properly. So, here we go. Um, yeah, it didn't, uh, it didn't fix itself. So, it's still quite fuckered. Uh, I got some wires run so that we don't gotta try and put a battery in there because I don't got any that small. So, let's get some shit out of the way here. Get the seat off. This thing. I don't know how you're supposed to take that off, but. It doesn't seem to like to come off no matter what you do. Yard that one off with a fucking thing. That's how. Oh, this side gonna fight. It probably is gonna fight. I mean, look at the action that was in. It's on there. Ugh. Okay. Oh. So, we're gonna have to there's no ignition, so we're going to have to jump the starter. Uh, what should we check? Uh, there's no coolant, because that's the rad all crunched in there. Over on this side, there's the hose, all disconnected. You don't need coolant for a quick little run. There's some engine oil, maybe. It's there. It smells like oil. It doesn't smell like gas. Uh, I've looked in here already. There's a spout for a jerry can. See ya? Spout for a jerry can in there and a little bit of gas. Doesn't smell that bad. But we got some fresh 87 outside that we're going to dump a little bit in here. Carb trader's still in there. Maybe we should... There's a hose. Drain hose. Maybe we should... See what comes out of there. Yeah, we establish there's no coolant. I'll grab that jerry can. I think it's it's right out there somewhere. We're gonna see if there's any air in the air box. Hopefully all the air didn't leak out. Looks like there's still air in it, so that's a good thing. Uh, that foam filter's probably seen better days, but it exists, so that's that's dandy. Yeah. So, oh. That should be good. We'll throw it on reserve. Let's grab this guy. 
okay. Half decent clean. We'll put this fuel drain kind of sorta of into it. Like so. The long Phillips. Um, put the fuel on reserve. Then we'll open the drain and we'll see what comes out of this bowl. Tight. Yeah, that's a little bit gnarly. Kind of yellow. Looks like pea. bit flows there's not, not a bunch of shit coming out of there anyway there we go there should be fresh fuel ish getting into the bowl by now close off the vent okay so we got gasoline ish Disconnect this guy. Unplug him. Actually, we've got this battery here. Let's use this one. Alright, so we got power and it's not on fire yet. So, now we're gonna have to. There's this plug right here. There's power in there somewhere. We gotta find it. So, we got the handy dandy multimeter. The ground should be brown or black. So, we'll test that. If it's brown, this should beep when I ground to the frame. Okay, let's try black. Nothing? One of those should be a goddamn ground. Shouldn't be this one. Why is it? One, two, three. That's red. Why is red grounding? Well, either way, there should be 12 volts here somewhere. Right there. 
Okay. So if we put 12 volts to the white wire, which is the trigger for the starter, we should have something fucking happening. So, power, neutral, careful. ground trigger. So the starter's trying to do something. Solenoid's engaging. That goes out to the starter. Seems like to be fine. What if we jump it? So we have no starter. So now I guess we we'll try and pull it. You don't need the, the key in there? Shouldn't. and it sounds wet so that tells me oh that doesn't smell like gas though no <laughs> <laughs> well let's give her a shot of brake clean then she might flash and then once it's flashed it might just burn whatever's in there She flashes tomorrow. We're gonna fucking try and drive it. Why doesn't the starter want to go? With it? That kind of pisses me off. It should want to go. Fucking idols and everything. 
we'll shut it off now. Well, that was a pretty uneventful will it start. Uh, because it starts, it idles. And with the air box on and getting the proper back pressure, even without the filter. Take a minute. Let's see if this kill switch works. Oh, oh, that worked. Okay. So the will it start is uh, quite obvious. Um, I don't know what time is it? A time for one more experiment. Let's see if we can't fucking make this tire have some wind into it. Let me get that off. Looks like about a maybe a nine sixteenths. Right. We're going to see if brake clean save the day twice in a row. What do you guys think? John thinks we're going to need to put a strap around it. I think we can just explode some air into it with some brakes. So. Place your bed. Try the brake clean again or something. Home hardware strap. Because if it doesn't get enough air, it doesn't explode, eh? I think is the issue. Has to be a good mixture of air and brake clean.
pushing it on the bead on the other side, kind of thing. It's not getting the right fucking brake clean to air ratio. These tires are so thin they heat up so fucking fast. They're almost melting after a try or two. Are you going to put a ratchet strap on it? Yeah, could try that. some fire to it. She's so close now she might go. Ooh, that strap explodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. like that it exploded More fire, man. Take strap off, though. Yeah. <laughs>
PSI in there. <laughs> I've had them up to like 60, 65. It says do not go over like 30 or something. Do not exceed 25 PSI to seat beads. Oh, we're mint. We're only at 22. Well, we're at 30, so we're five over. That's got to be getting fucking dangerous now. It's got to be. Um, Let's let it sit for a bit. Soak it. Okay. So, it's seated, kind of. So, uh. We're gonna call her that for the uh, will it start and tomorrow we're gonna see if it will drive. So check that out and uh, until next time have a gooder folks.